What is up bras? Now I'm not going to take much of your time before we get into it, but I have finally finished reviewing the Pro League Finals between DZ and Navi from Japan and this video is loaded. As always I got timestamps down below and if you haven't already you should definitely check out these games live when they happen. I have the Rainbow Six YouTube and Twitch links down below for easy access so maybe I'll see you over there in the chat this season. Anyways let's get right into it starting with trick number one. doing an excellent job. BC and Fragrenades, name a more iconic duo. They really do get along well, and you know, he doesn't always land them, but when he does, they're all so important. Getting rid of Citizen at the top of yellow is going to open up a lot of doors. Up first is the clever angle to take out anyone anchoring in the bathroom stall by the toilet. Nyx here shows how you can destroy the top left of the garden window and then get a straight shot up through the destructible floor in the bathroom. Now you can simply wall bang this spot, but if you're sure someone is there, you can also get a free easy kill by cooking a nade or exploding the bottom with Sophia. This is really unexpected and doesn't leave much time at all for the defender to react, so enjoy it the next time you find someone in the bathroom. At some point, Hot and Cold has swung on in, looking for coverage as he goes for the diffuser. Hyper's gonna spray through. Pi hits the floor. He was very good in the matchup against Reciprocity, but right. Trick number two is a crazy long angle that can be used for both attackers and defenders very easily, depending on the situation you're in. By opening up these three walls in a row, you can get an angle all the way from top yellow to the meeting room door or vice versa. These two spots tend to be an area where players take their time before making the next push, and that's going to give you a ton of opportunities, plus you can get even more sneaky with it by using melee holes that will make it that much more difficult to see. Many times, Michael. Yeah. Meticulous, some would say, with how they counter ban and prep for uh, their different opponents. Thorough is a very good work, good, very good word for it. Next up is a simple Valkyrie camera to watch piano. Now, I used to use the spot behind the speaker, but as you can see, it only shows a little bit of a view of the west wall to help watch people breaking above. Now, when the camera is placed under the speaker, though, you can then see just over the table and get a view of the entire piano room and not just the wall. So this is a cam spot I will definitely be using on consulate from now on. As of death and injury uh, associated with the setup. Now, this is fascinating. This impact trick that Nello just tried to do worked so successfully against exothermic charges, but uh, well, didn't work at all against the ex-Kairos that was just utilized. Headed to the basement, we're going to be doing two different impact tricks to counter Thermite and Habana. This first one is going to be simple and the more complicated one is going to be on trick number 6. Now first up, by laying down next to the pallet, you are going to be able to throw your impact grenade far enough out of the drone hole to keep the entire northern reinforcement protected. Now this specific spot also will keep you safer from being shot through the drone hole versus just laying down in front of it and throwing it sideways. If the charges are placed further south than the northern reinforcement, then it will still go off, but this is good to know to keep at least one side protected. Toe to toe with Dark Zero and then before that humbled the Giants. You can see that APAC is a lot deeper than just one or two teams. Yeah. Next up is a sick way to counter the common spawn peak from console office that I admit I use way too much but now I might need to switch up my go to's a little bit. Now from the gas station spawn Hyper was using this vault up and then leaning to the right to get a perfect pixel on the window that is nearly impossible for defenders to see. The defender is going to be watching down the alleyway for attackers to run down and you're going to surprise the crap out of them because just your forehead will be watching through this gap of the stone and it's nearly invisible from the distance that the defenders are going to be at, especially depending on the graphic settings. You know, take care of the hatches, open up some of the bathroom as well so that you can open up the bathroom hatch. And why is that? So you can have somebody sit here. Really nice. I, you saw Hot and Cold check to make sure that there were four of those ex Kairos. But what? What? Was that an impact? It could, could have been. It must have been from Nello. It could have been. Maybe. Yeah, because there's soft destruction next to the drop down, isn't there? Like, and, it, and the, if the wall was opened up already. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what I didn't, happened. We I didn't catch it. We're not experts. We did not see from their perspective and Hyper. exactly why it blew up. But that's a major detriment to Dark Zero. Next up is the second impact trick to counter Thermite and Habana, and it's definitely one that is not widely known yet. 
By opening up a hole big enough to throw an impact through in Piano 4, you can chuck it straight onto the bathroom wall by the hatch and you'll be able to destroy whatever is being detonated there. Now when I saw this in the match, I was legitimately confused at first, but after reviewing it again and watching the breakdown, you can see how genius this is and again it's one of those tricks that has been around for forever but is barely known yet and that's one of the many things that makes siege the type of game that lasts for years maps is some something has been discussed uh, at length i speculate by the way what happened was that nello must have used mm. next up we have our second valkyrie camera and it's going to be simply tossed up onto the ceiling inside of the white van now what makes this camera so good is that the two bulletproof visors help block the camera and for some reason you can see the blue light through the crack while someone is on it, but as you get closer that normal blue shiny light gets dimmer and dimmer until you can barely see it flashing at all. Now this camera also watches for any pushes towards the default plant and that can have a huge impact on winning the round. Nello and Kendrew. That's Staggers Nello. Really Nello got an ace on this map against Wildcard, playing oh. his gridlock on one of the most disgusting. Moving to coastline for trick number eight, we have a go-to bullet hole angle to use when you defend the kitchen. Here we saw Kendrew putting a bullet hole to the left of the reinforcement that goes straight onto the service entrance doorway. Bullet holes are already difficult to see, but putting some while prone in this spot also makes it that much more difficult too because it's right on the side of the bomb in service and that can also help block it. The grenade, and that will be Nello getting to live to see another day. A shot and a half from Citizen onto Hyper, all the way towards VIP and into the record hall. Citizen, what a shot from the back of theater. Moving upstairs, we have a little bit more of an intricate bolt hole setup that Citizen was using in the hallway to watch through two entire rooms and into the Hall of Fame. A lot of standard top floor clears involve pushing through Hall of Fame and clearing the penthouse and theater, and as soon as someone peeks this wall of bullet holes, Either they will have to get a 1 in 20 chance of shooting in the right one or the attacker will get taken out. Now that's if the attacker has an amazing reaction time also. The defender will be holding the angle waiting for the peak so they will be at a huge advantage even if the attacker is an amazing player already. Season one. No, not, not not the gun. It's that yeah, that's like the Pro League Glacier skin, right? Or yeah, it's the Glacier skin. Yeah. It's the uh the, the blue glacier skin. The true OG skin, because there's so no that crowd orb that muted the crowd mic, so we just stopped talking. All you hear is just dead silence. <laughs> Next up we have a Valkyrie camera plus runout combo, and while the runout is in a very common spot, adding in this Valkyrie camera adds that extra layer to give you the edge. By throwing your camera where you saw me aiming, it will land partially behind the pillar in the corner of the couch and allow you to see anyone pushing towards the door. Now when you see them focus their attention elsewhere, that's when you will be able to run out and get that pick and that is that timing that drives everyone nuts because it'll be within the second that the attackers look away and that's going to be your timing to run out and get the free kill. Takes home the point for the round. So great job to Citizen again. A dark zero, I really am impressed by their ability to attempt to retake in that This race. is big brain here oh, for wait. Nix. What's happening? He ran all the way out to contest over by the pool, and I uh, don't know if he got anything for his trouble, except for a couple dents on the hood of his shiny new paint job. Next up is a run out to vault up spot for an early kill on people running from the pool spawn. We saw Nyx using this run out as a 3 speed to get there a little bit faster and give you that extra split second less of detection time. Now this is actually pretty safe to do as compared to a lot of other spawn rushes because it happens right away and even if attackers spawn in ruins behind you, they shouldn't be able to get an angle very easily on you unless you overstay in the spot after you vault up. off pie and then and I get picked this. up by Navi <laughs> the best revenge or living well is the best revenge and in this case pie is doing just that pie must be so happy he got kicked off that team he must I be just, I mean I, strange set of circumstances find yourself here eh? but I no, I mean I've been happy to get kicked off the team before oh now we have saved possibly the sneakiest of them all for last where we see hyper putting bullet holes on the courtyard wall looking through the blue bar and out of the window into the ruined spawn. Now from a distance it's nearly impossible to see the bullet holes while you're all the way back here and that's with an ACOG, 
unless the attacker is straight up cheating, droned you out perfectly, or has the plot armor of Season 8 Game of Thrones characters, there's no way they should survive crossing this, let alone be able to even come close to killing you while you're here. Anyways, Brafam, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and until next time, I love you all. Peace.